Welcome back to another video. This video is going to be dedicated to a home bargains B&M and pound stretcher haul. It was actually really really nice again to get out. I think I said this in my last like home bargains or B&M haul where it's just really nice to escape from the four walls of your house and not just do the food shop but to actually look and see different areas of the world that is actually open and that you can go in and see. So if you haven't already, make sure you pause the video, you get yourself a hot drink, you get the snacks, you get snuggled up on the sofa and let's get into this Home Bargains B&M Pound Stretcher haul. Okay, so we're going to start probably with the cleaning aisle. So I've got it all kind of laid out over here, right? And we've got a bit of cleaning, a little bit of self-care, a little bit of food and some miscellaneous you know random bits but also really really needed bits you know um so obviously the main reason that i go to like home bargains b and m pound stretcher and all them other ones is for cleaning products they are so so much cheaper than they are at supermarkets and sometimes you can't get a lot of this stuff at supermarkets because they only have like certain brands or they will only have a certain amount of like disinfectants or fabric softeners and things like that so that's the main reason I go to these shops to get those um now if you've watched a couple of my other home bargains and B&M hauls you'll see that I'm like obsessed with anything pink stuff related and they keep bringing out like loads of different sprays so they have a stain remover spray for like when you spray it on your clothes before you put them in the wash they also have the bathroom foam spray so that's like a flash bathroom but in the pink stuff version and they also have the pink stuff disinfectant cleaner now they did also have another one and i was kind of umming and ahhing about which one i wanted but this one obviously because it's a disinfectant one and it says that it kills 99.9 percent .9 of bacteria i thought right now everybody needs a little bit of that in their life so i went for this one instead i think the other one was like multi-purpose cleaner or something like that which would have probably been fine but i went for this one anyway instead i haven't got the receipt for um my home bargains haul everything is super super cheap i think this was probably around the one pound 50 marker if not even cheaper then the main reason for going on my little haul trip today was because i needed to go and get some flash bathroom stuff so i know in my last haul i don't know if it was bnm or home bargains but i got the pink stuff bathroom foam spray like i was just saying but I had an idea so basically I absolutely love the smell of flash bathroom like it's amazing everybody needs it in their life but Mrs Hinch pours the liquid version so this is the liquid version that comes in like a bottle I suppose compared to the spray so these are exactly the same however this is a spray format and this is just a liquid format that comes out of the lid at the top so what mrs hinch does is she pours the liquid flash bathroom into a dishmatic and then a dishmatic if you haven't heard of one before is basically i use the one that i've got at the minute for washing pots so you put fairy liquid or whatever kind of washing up liquid into the into this main section so this opens up oh my god opens up like that and then you pour the liquid like the flash bathroom into the top and then it will fill up this part of the tube here so you'll be able to see it when it gets to like up here and you can just kind of stop pouring but I thought once this has got the flash bathroom liquid in and it's all like the sponge is wet you can like go around the bath and the sink you know for like a quick 
quick clean and then use like another cloth to wipe it all away. That's what Mrs Hinch does and I think it's a genius idea. So I stocked up on another dish matic which comes with six refill heads. So I thought I could take three of the refill heads downstairs because I have one of these with fairy liquid in to wash the pots in downstairs and then leave the other three upstairs. So I'm kind of getting the best of both worlds in terms of using those heads and not needing to buy more for downstairs. But yeah, I don't think that was a lot at all either. In fact, I'm gonna try and find the receipt because I wanna just show that everything is a lot cheaper at these stores than it is compared at like going to Morrison's, for example. Okay, so I've got the receipt. Just to recap, this was actually only 99p, so even cheaper than what I thought it was. The flash bathroom liquid is 199, obviously because you get a lot more of the I think you get a litre, yeah you get a litre's worth of the product in there and then for the bathroom spray it was 99p and you get 450ml in this spray bottle. You can get bigger bottles but they just didn't seem to have them. For the Dishmatic bonus pack it was £2.89 which I think if you go to the places like I've even seen them in Wilco for a lot more expensive so yeah, I definitely recommend going to like Home Bargains or B&M for stuff like this because it's so, so much cheaper. And next up on my cleaning list is always, always, always this Zoflora. Like, I've tried, I've got like a stash of a load of others. Obviously, I try loads of Christmases um, because they bring all the Christmas scents out. But there is nothing quite like Linen Fresh Zoflora. It is my favourite. It smells incredible. So I had to get the big version because I was, again, at Home Bargains. And this was £3.99, which I think is probably similar pricing um across like quite a few shops but the reason that i get this is that it can be used in so many different areas i have it in i dilute it into little spray bottles that i can spray on like my kitchen cupboard doors on my radiators on the worktops um i also dilute, dilute it and put it into my um floor spray mop as well rather than using like floor solutions and things like that so it comes in super, super handy and it just smells incredible. So if you don't like the fresh sun and one, they do thousands of other different scents. I'm sure you will find one that you love as well. And then a couple of other bits that I got, I haven't actually got the other two upstairs, but for the dishwasher, I needed some more finish rinse aid, finish dishwasher salt, and also finish dishwasher tablets. I feel like that three combo, I know it's all the same brand, but it just, does something different to the plates and the cups and everything like that. It makes them super, super sparkly, shiny, very clean. I just love everything finished. So yeah, I got all of that. Um, the rinse aid was $1.99. The dishwasher tablets were $8.99, but I actually got the 65 pack of those. So it's like the biggest bag that you can get. And I think at places like Wilco, they're usually like 10 pounds. So that was a bit of a bargain. And the finished dishwasher salt I actually got from Morrison's and I think that was about two or three pound. Um, just because I couldn't find it in home bargains or B&M. I think they'd sold out. But yeah, I have to make sure I get that same like brand and scent and everything. Because this is in the lemon sparkle scent and you can also get like an ordinary one if you don't like the, the lemon scent as well. All right, I'm gonna go into the miscellaneous um, section now just because that's next one along and I feel like it's taking up a lot of room, especially one of the items. So we won't go in with that item first, but this item, is I found that Home Bargains do their own like gym wear section, um, like gym wear, gym, <laughs> gym equipment section, and they did a four kilogram, obviously kettlebell. They did them in eight, they did them in ten, and whatever else. Um, but I got a two kilogram one. I didn't know how like, didn't know what my strength was going to be to be honest. Um, when I ordered it off Amazon, and for most of the exercises that I do it with don't tend to feel like it's doing anything it probably is um and this one is super heavy like well obviously i can lift it and hold it but it's a lot heavier obviously because it's two kilogram more than the two kilogram so yeah and this was a lot cheaper than what it was on amazon so for this it was only 6.99 i assume the heavier they are obviously the more expensive they will be but they could all be 
$6.99 who knows um so yeah if you're in need of a new kettlebell they had loads of other gym equipment um in there as well so i'd highly recommend giving them a look over before you order online because like i say most things are a lot cheaper there anyway okay next up for the big um item that is taken over the entire of like the bed um is just a plain canvas so you can see my ring light in there um but basically with this i will show you this is absolutely massive as well it is 50 by 60 centimeters and honestly let me tell you how much it was it was only two pound 29 for this humongous canvas i swear to god when i've been on like hobby craft and on the range sorry i'm just putting that over there um that they're a lot lot more expensive but obviously let me know if that's not the case i can't remember but i'm pretty sure they were a lot more expensive for the big old canvases as well it feels quite sturdy in quality now the reason behind getting the canvas is because if i show you the next item that i also purchased for an absolute bargain you'll know why everyone guess what i'm doing i will put on screen if you haven't seen it before it's basically like a textured canvas um and it looks so so good i'm obsessed with looking at them on like pinterest and other people's um instagrams that i've done them before as well i absolutely love them but these were only 99p each and it says that they dry white it's easy to sand and obviously if you wanted to use it for actual filler then you can do um but i intend to use it like i say to make a texturized abstracty type art on my canvas um and <laughs> all of the tools were like not expensive because it's not expensive in home bargains but a lot of the tools to do it so like the scrapers and things like that were like i don't know, i want to say like three pound so i went to the baking aisle and got this which is just a palette knife with a bamboo handle and how much was you palette knife one pound 49 so i know it's probably too long but i'm sure it does the same job you know so yeah for one pound 49 two pound 29 and three lots of 99p i'm gonna make myself a beautiful canvas and if i have any of these left over they did all different sizes of the canvases in home bargains so i could go and get some more and have them like scattered around the wall in all different sizes so yeah i thought that was a really good idea okay right so that's everything for the miscellaneous um now on to self-care so i mean would it even be me if i didn't go to home bargains and pick up some sheet masks you know these are my absolute go-to i know i usually only pick up two at a time but i thought one could come in really handy for like gifts in the future i always kept trying like save like little bits and bobs and another couple of items actually um which are also for gifts in this haul as well so these are my absolute favorite this one especially if you're wanting a pamper on an evening it is for super hydrating and anti-fatigue tissue mask and it has lavender scented which it just like makes you feel really calm soothed relaxed it's amazing um and the pink ones are like the real ogs i think these ones came out like probably one of the first ones and the moisture bomb super hydrating and glow reviving tissue mask and these are in like a really like floral scent and just smell really really like it's really nice you know um but these are 199 each then i also picked up this really really cute um like hand cream and nail file set i'm pretty sure this is so similar to a root like um a reindeer one that i got in my um gift guides or stocking at guides for her from home bargains and it had like a reindeer nail file i believe with hand cream and it was so so cute this was only 99p and it's going to come in super super helpful and handy 
for like bulking up um somebody's like birthday present or mother's day is on the way very very soon guys so my thinking was mum if you're watching look away now like go quick get out of here pause the tv run out the room do whatever you have to um but yeah i was gonna gift this to my mum with a nice little sheet mask and then loads of like other little pampery bits and there's also another present down here which is also this which i thought was really really cute so they in home bargains they are like they sell all the wickford and co candles and they smell incredible um i always usually have one burning on my windowsill the last one that i had was a proper yankee candle from my sister for christmas but usually they are always these ones on the windowsill and on my dining table and it is, smells like those little parma violet sweets that you used to get when you was little yeah so it actually says happy mother's day on the front of the candle which i thought that was really really cute so obviously if it had been pink it would have been better because it would have kind of gone with my theme a little bit better but never mind i thought they were really really cute and obviously it's a massive massive candle that smells amazing mums are gonna love it so if you need to get down to home bargains get one of them I would do soon because I imagine they're probably going to sell out of them. The candle was at 2 dollars so I think that's an absolute bargain, especially for the size of it as well. Alright, I'm just going to take a quick break. My coffee. Sorted. Also on the candle front, I picked up two more, but these ones are actually for me on the house. So like I said, we usually always have one burning on the bedroom windowsill, but that one has almost run out. I can't believe how much I've burnt it since Christmas, honestly. Um, but I've actually picked up both of the same scents of this one. So this is in a sugar dusted cherry flavour or scent. And honestly, it smells amazing. It just smells of pure like cherries it's so so nice so that is 2 dollars as well so i've got one for the bedroom windowsill and one for my dressing room for when i'm working in there i love to have like a little candle burning it just kind of makes it feel a bit more zen and i feel like when i'm in that kind of mood i feel like i can work a lot faster through my to-do list it's very strange but that's what works for me but it smells incredible so if you need a candle top up go to home bargains just for this candle especially because it smells amazing okay these are a bit random but these are the best smelling hand gel that i have used obviously since this whole situation came about i know we used hand gel before but getting through it quite quickly now um i absolutely love these ones and we only had like one of the love heart bottles um which then leaked so we've had to get rid of that but i have got a big bigger one which is in like a is it in a pump or do you have to squirt it out still i can't remember um but i thought we could take the lids off these once they're empty and fill them back up again um yeah smell amazing you can also get a carex um lemon sherbet one i think it is and it has like mr men on the front they're really really nice as well i think me and brad have just literally just finished those we had one each in our cars and that they've both just finished so yeah i got us a little top up to have in our cars again and i'm pretty sure yeah these were only 99p each but you can get the bigger ones for literally just a little bit more and then you can refill these ones up as well so that makes it really really handy then i also picked up this dove refillable hand wash um which comes in this like bag i want to say <laughs> with the little screw crack on the top um i love these because obviously they're less plastic better on the environment and anything from like the carex ones or the dove ones i always feel are really really good on your hands for like moisturizing and not leaving like really dry um but this it was only one pound 69 so obviously really really cheap and i can use about half of this in our hand soap downstairs and half of it in the hand soap dispenser upstairs so they do last quite a while you could probably even get three lots of hand soap dispensers out of this actually just thinking about it but yeah i really like this so i picked that up whilst i was there then another must have for me is this here this is amazing so this is the palmer's cocoa butter formula natural bronzed body lotion so it's a gradual moisturizing tanner um but you can even use this on its own without needing to put like fake tan on and then this but 
if you want you to put like your normal fake tan on and then use this it just smells so so nice it is literally like the smell of cocoa butter as well so if you're someone that doesn't like the smell of fake tan then i highly recommend this and it is the cheapest that i've ever found it in home bargains it's 3.99 i think such a such a good price for it though i think you can pay extortionate prices elsewhere so definitely go to home bargains or bnm they think they do it in bnm as well but i would you tend to always just pick it up from home bargains just because it's usually easier but as it says on the front it says it builds up and maintains a natural looking tan so even if you was um sun kissed from the sun outside like the actual sun when that decides to come out um popping a bit of this on will just kind of moisturize your body which obviously you need when you have sunburn but also give you a nice looking tan as well so i 100 percent do use this and recommend this now this is something i haven't tried before but i've seen quite a lot of people on instagram use these or go on about them it's basically a sponge that is filled with soap already this one is in the scent just peachy and it literally says sponge filled with soap it's handmade it's vegan friendly and then on the back it just says lather all over the body rinse well avoid contact with eyes for external use only um yeah it was £2.49 it's supposed to be really really good they did it in loads of different scents in home bargains as well so if this is something that you're wanting to try then get yourself down to home bargains but I will review i will use this this evening and review it on my instagram and let you know how i get on with it and we'll see where we go from there okay so we are now on to the food section now first bits of food so i'm not very excited to be honest so let's get them over and done with i picked up four cans or four tins of mackerel in tomato sauce and in spicy tomato sauce for bread they're only 99p and these come in super super handy if your um other half goes off to work and likes fish i hate fish can't stand it so when i was looking for this i was like i have no idea what i'm looking for but he just said mackerel in tomato sauce so i picked these up for him 99p you can't go wrong and that'll keep him fed for four days next week then i realized just before i'd set off to home bargains that i was actually eating the last tin of baked beans before i left and i thought i can't come back without any baked beans because chances are i'll want some for my lunch next week so i just buy these ones these are like the half size ones um than like the normal sized cans does that make sense um they're 200 grams and I think the normal ones are 400 so it's just half the size um but these are the no added sugar ones usually in supermarkets I pick up the ones that are no added sugar and no added salt but they only had these ones so these ones will be fine um but per can they are only 131 calories so on like a toasted thin that's only 231 calories for a lunch which is super super good um if you're calorie counting so yeah these come in super handy for me because i love them so like bread like in fish i don't like it i love beans he can't stand them there we go that's the story of us right then lastly for the food section from home bargains and then we can move on to the bits that i got from bnm and pound stretcher um I don't know if you'll have seen on my Instagram stories the other day I showed that I made some chocolate bars for Brad for his Valentine's present and I wanted to try and make some more so I've gone kind of like Eastery for when Easter does come but then also some other different ones that I can make in the meantime so we have got some kinder chocolate bars these are like the little chocolate bars um, I think you get 10 in this pack yes eight plus two why they ever do that i do not know just put that there's ten in there you know but these are just like the little ones and i tend to just break them up and dot them around the chocolate bar itself then something i am super excited for i've never tried these before but they are malteser biscuits but in the mint um flavor and yeah i just can't wait to to eat them um to be honest they are only 111 calories 111 if you're into angel numbers these are for you but with these what i thought i could do is i could break them up and dot them around the chocolate bar if i wanted to mix them in with the chocolate bar as well easter wise i got some dime chocolate eggs um just miniature eggs and dime you know if 
but they look really really nice i don't think i've had these before maybe i have but i don't know there doesn't seem to be a lot in here because it's only like a little small bag but it'll be perfect for putting on some chocolate bars and i also picked up a bag of smarties just because i think these make the chocolate bar look really colorful on top as well with some mini eggs but i've already got some of them in the cupboard from one of my very previous um hauls that i did at home bargains so yeah i thought they would come in handy on the chocolate bars as well and finally some milky bar mini eggs these are obviously going to look really cute as well on the mini eggs i could kind of on the, the chocolate bars i could kind of like mix these two together or i could mix these in with some mini eggs just so that there's like a different different kind of chocolate going on on top of the chocolate it's a lot of chocolate choc 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 chocolate um but yeah so they were all a lot cheaper than what they are in normal supermarkets as well so always go to home bargains or bnm for your chocolate let me move all of this out the way and get the home bargain stuff be right back okay so at the pound stretchers first which i think does have a different name but i can't remember what it's called but i remember seeing the pound shop the pound stretcher sticker on the till but just thought it does definitely have a different name um <laughs> i just picked up this um like a little i don't even know what it's called little glass jar i suppose of white sea salt it's in quite chunky form it says that, that you can obviously grind it so you can put it into grinders i thought it'd be really nice as like display on the side as well as obviously using it for cooking as well so yeah picked that up i don't know how much this was because i didn't get a receipt from pound stretchers but obviously it's pound stretchers so it can't be that expensive then i also picked up these these are just some little scourers in pink there's four of them in total easily cleans that burn on food and grease on the back it basically just says to wear with rubber gloves with them when using like they're not that sharp but i assume they could be maybe but i did buy a two pack of gloves when i do my speed cleans i need to get on and do one of them very very soon for you guys because obviously we're going to be prepping our houses getting it all ready clean and spick and span for spring and i thought pink is very a spring color i think all of the i know like more yellow is probably more spring but to me pink that's just more spring to me um, so I bought some pink gloves which are obviously going to go with my pink scarves and I also picked up some pink microfiber cloths which are just you know going to come in very useful for when I do my speed cleans. I use microfiber cloths on a lot of different things. Obviously they are reusable as well so I kind of store them all around the house like in um for the bathroom cleans for the kitchen cleans and things like that for like mirrors and windows and all of that so yeah they will come in super super handy that is everything that i got from um pound stretcher obviously these two shops that i went into after home bargains i had got like the majority of my list that i went with from home bargains so there's only a couple of little bits that i didn't manage to get hold of um one of them being a monster energy drink in zero sugar honestly i went to morrison's I think it must have been the first week I didn't do a day with me on the Sunday um, as one of my weekly vlogs. I decided to like just miss that week and do a normal like sit down video um, instead. And can you believe Morrison's didn't have my monster? So I had to get a bag in my car after the food shop and it being absolutely horrendous without my monster. So I was very upset. So when I was there and I saw that they had them, I was like, I'm gonna have to pick myself one up so now it's just like my weekend treat you know so next up from bnm as well as my monster energy drink i also picked up some tilda rice packs these come in super super help um handy especially for brad with his lunches so obviously as i showed you before he takes them like little tins of fish to work and then he has them with a bag of rice obviously it's really kind of convenient work wise um because he can just like split this open and put it in the microwave um so i got two of the ch sweet chili and lime and then a piri piri one as well which it's probably going to be too spicy but they literally only had these two flavors 
so I thought they'd be better than nothing. Then I also picked up this box of Cadbury's brunch bars. These are amazing, but I mainly got them because I was absolutely starving by this point. I really wanted to eat one, but I didn't want something that was really high in calories. So for any one calorie count in, these are 137 calories per bar. Um, and I had this with the remainder of one of my cans of Monster and the car. So yeah that's why i bought them i also picked up another pack of these happy hippo kinder biscuits um these are really really good to put on top of the chocolate bars that i've been making um so i just picked up a couple more of those just so that i had more of them in because i did originally really want to make a i think it was like a nutella life cake and it had these in on top so i did already have some in the house um but obviously i used them on the chocolate bars so i thought i'd just get some more and then i can either make more chocolate bars or i can make the nutella loaf that i was going to make originally so we'll see then i am really excited about this because i've been wanting to get my hands on it for ages and every time i go i completely forget that it's there and that i need to look out for it and um, for some reason i was down the candle aisle looking at the candles even though I just bought the other three and someone had clearly moved it from where it was supposed to be to the candle aisle because I thought that's a bit weird why that's there but it was a dream you know um Cadbury's dream if you don't know about Cadbury's dream like they stopped doing it for ages and ages and ages and you can only seem to get it at B&M now so I was absolutely delighted and I'm hoping it still tastes exactly the same as it used to because I used to love these bars like love them so yeah I'm super excited to eat that I will obviously be calorie counting it so it basically tells you obviously like the nutrition values and things like that um approximately four squares is 571 calories that's quite a lot isn't it which is literally that much of the bar that's one two three four that's not really a lot is it so i suppose you could have two squares for like almost 300 calories <laughs> it doesn't seem worth it i might have to have it on a treat day and just pretend that the calories don't count but i really really wanted to try that and finally i actually went into the food warehouse as well because we needed some more pepsi if you don't know my addiction to pepsi max and pepsi max cherry then you need to know that i've got an addiction <laughs> so we always go to the food warehouse which is basically like the iceland outlet version i don't know i don't really know what it's like it is iceland but it's like maybe a bigger version more of a wholesale version maybe um i can't really remember what I, what the relationship is um but they always have loads of offers on for pepsi max there and even all your other um pops so if you're an addiction to the soda life like me then get yourself down to the food warehouse because i think their deal was three crates of 24 cans for 19 pounds so it was quite cheap but i also whilst i was there picked up some Weight Watcher wraps just because these come in really handy for my lunches um I even have these just on a plate with um baked beans obviously cooked and then some scrambled egg on top it's delicious it's so nice and it's so filling so yeah I've got that as well but that is the end of the haul thank goodness i feel like i've been talking and talking and talking for ages what time is it god it must almost be like an hour's long i'm gonna have to cut loads of this out but yes yeah, so thank you so much for watching i hope you've been inspired to go and have a lovely little shop of your own i will be back very very soon with a speed clean with me in all of the pinkness i can even get all of my pink candles out i can get my pink stuff out there can be loads loads more i'm excited for that so i will see you on sunday for the speed clean i'm very pink inspired getting ready for spring but in the meantime have a lovely rest of your week and i will see you on sunday take care everyone bye <laughs>
was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I 